Hello there. Do you hear? I... Wait, what are you doing there? You shouldn't be over there. You should be over here. That's much better. This is the... This is the song to use. Yep. Definitely... Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a song. Um... It's, it's uh, normal and not noteworthy in any capacity. What is happening? Oh, piano. I like that instrument. Before we get too distracted, uh, what is this? Um, it's the Homo Suck Swan Song. That's what it is. But the stream, right. So, I had an idea, and it goes like this. The Tree of Life. Okay, hold on. That's too high energy. Sure. I had an idea. What if I made the Tree of Life? Okay, but people have done that already. I mean, look, I, I, can, I can go into Tree of Life, right? I'll get this Wikipedia page, and it's the wrong one. I go to this Wikipedia page. I mean, look at that. That's a, that's that is that is a way to show data. There's just a problem. Um, it it it's kind of uh, how do we put it? It's an image. And there are certain people in the world that hate images. They go around and they find a search engine and they see, like. They see this tab, you know, this one right here, and they throw a fit. And so what if I represented this data in a different way? So I thought, oh, I know the best thing. Okay, this one time I used this 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 thing called Word, and I made words, uh, and I could sh I could like make like this, and then tab, more stuff, tab, more stuff, tab, and I can just do that for the tree of life. I'll, I'll just um keep inserting tabs and it'll, it'll be a grand old time and then i realized i'm halfway through the page and i'm only like seven lines through yes, nailed it. clearly this isn't going to work and while yes you can adjust how much the tab goes like so um but this is incredibly time consuming and boring and also change the formatting and boom, this goes off the page and it's illegible. So we need a different solution. And that's where JSON comes in. You've heard of JSON, right? It's the way that Minecraft, Bedrock Edition at least, uses to store a data. For example, uh, I don't want that. It's not that I don't want it visible, it's that I don't want to look at it. What do I want to look at? MCBE, behavior pack, 1.92.20. I need to get up to date. There's so many changes. Okay, but like the LA, right? So the LA's behavior is stored as a JSON. So you can create behavior packs by editing this JSON. Oh, you want the pickup timer for the LA to be uh, zero seconds? Boom, zero seconds. Uh, let's set pickup based on chance to true. Do that. Um, is hidden when invisible. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't like that component. That's, that's a dumb one. Uh, wait. I'd get, I'd get rid of it like this. Like so. It's a very useful way to store information. And, it's compact. I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty compact. And then I can uncompact it. And it's illegible, right? The tabs are dependent on my settings. I can set it to be one space or five spaces. It works for everyone. And if I zoom in, uh, I don't think you can see it because the lines aren't very long. But for example, this document, if you zoom out and zoom back in, if you zoom out and zoom back in, it wraps. It's called word wrapping. And that's very useful. So in my opinion, JSON is a very natural way 
to store this kind of information. I might be wrong, but at least I have some good points. So, what I want to do is I kind of want to sketch on paper first um, exactly what I want to do. Um, and then I'm going to go through and add information. So this is the basic format. This is the name of the group, Eukaryota in this case. These are all the eukaryotes, which I list here. These are all the things that have a cell with an enclosed nuclei, or an enclosed, an enclosed nucleus, right? This is to distinguish them from bacteria, which don't have that, and archaea, which also don't. And I think a couple other things. So I have this thing right here, diverge. This just says, how long ago did the eukaryotes diverge from the other stuff? And also, what is the time period called? So here I have this list of time zones. Time zones? That's not the right word. Um, yeah. So this goes in order from most recent to oldest. So this is the Phaneros Phanerozic. I've never had to say this out loud. Phanero? Uh, hold on, I need to change my color so you can read. J -j 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 Jason. I guess it's default, not Jason. Um, one moment. Settings. That would go back to the top global. Hmm. Oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. I just want to change the color of this. Indent, guideline, brace, highlight. Uh, number, bold. Smart highlighting. Nope, it's not that. Okay, let me just go to Jason then. This is basically the formatting of the formatting. Um, it just makes everything a nice color. Wait, it's not here either. I remember changing this. Oh, I didn't save my progress because I had to update the thing. Oops. Uh, so it's, it's this color. You can basically not tell the difference. Um, I guess I could also just change the... No, it's not background color. That's the problem. It's not background color. It's... Selected text color? Let's... Oh. oh okay, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Set it to like that, maybe? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I didn't save my progress. Dang <laughs> it. It's okay, I know how to do it now. Just need to change this to be a little darker. Like that. Save and close. See, there we go. All right, so Panero means something. I don't know what it means. And Zoic means life or zo, zoo means life, and ik referring to. Also, it changes color. That's a weird, okay. Anyway, so then we have the Cenozoic time period, which is part of the Phanerozoic time period, and Quaternary. And if I search it up, Quaternary. Did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong. Hey, we're learning stuff. The Quaternary is the most reached, most recent geologic time period. And there's no R there. Quaternary, not quaternary. Quater. So, this is the most recent time period. This is, uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? This is 20 million years ago, and the Paleogene uh, started when the dinosaurs went extinct. So... The Cretaceous would be just before they went extinct. Then there's a Jurassic, like Jurassic Park, Triassic with the first dinosaurs. And then we have everything before that. So, important things to note. The Hadean time period is a little distracting. Um, actually, yeah, it was really distracting because every time you wanted to start life, 
meteors would rain from the sky, and also the floor was lava. So uh, not a good time period to begin life. And then I believe it was in the EORKN time period where life first emerged. Basically not much happened. And then there's, I think here where there's multicellular life, or maybe it's Orosirian. I don't know. Point is, lots of stuff happened here, but I don't really care. The Tonian uh, is probably named after a guy named Tony. No idea. Cryogenian. As the name suggests, it was really cold. Then this happened, I don't know. And here is where life first really gets a big boost. This is the Cambrian Explosion. It's where most of the kingdoms diversified? Yeah, I think. I might be wrong about that. Um, so this is the first big step in evolutionary history. And then some other stuff happens, Devonian, Carboniferous. Carboniferous, I believe, is uh, when coal was formed. Maybe. And then there's the Permian Explosion, I think. Uh, and then subsequent extinct... Like, there were a couple extinction events. And then the Permian just, boom, a whole bunch of stuff died. Like, you think the, the, the dinosaur extinction was bad? Permian extinction was, like, real bad. Lots of stuff died. Um, so we have fossils of things that just never had children, and we have no idea what they would become if they were alive today. But then that rose, then from the Permian extinction arose three important groups. One would become the dinosaurs, technically dinosaurs. One would become the birds, which are, you know, the most related to the dinosaurs, and one would become the mammals. And I guess one would become the reptiles. And then that diversifies to like this are the amph amphibians and like yeah turtles and reptiles so lots of complicated history that i want to untangle and mostly after the carbon carboniferous period but also i don't really care the main point of all this is to kind of get an idea of how things are related so i have two uh, right all of this started because of I'm gonna do this, do, um, do this crazy thing where I look something up. Um, fish. This thing is a fish. That thing is a fish. It's <laughs> legit. Wait, is that? Oh, that's the name of the website. Okay, I thought I thought this this was legit.png. Yeah, that's a legit fish. Uh, that's a fish. 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 These are fish. That's a fish. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. Um, there's lots of fish. And if we try to collect all of the fish that we see into a single thing, like a single group, then uh, these guys are also fish. And if you're looking at this and you're like, hmm, that doesn't look like fish, that's because they're not. And a couple other weird stuff. So, like, this. This is a shark. It's a fish. Um, this. Hold on, let me think. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do this correctly. Uh. This. I spelled it wrong. Don't worry about it. Is not a fish. Okay not a fish i think we can kind of understand that um the what's a better way to put it oh this it's a fish you know the weird part we are more closely related to this thing than this thing is to fish if i were to draw Oh, this might take a while to load. No? Okay. This is lungfish. Or I guess this is lungfish. This is shark. And this is humans. And this is the high school that I went to. We are more closely related to the lungfish than lungfish are to sharks. This is the rough family tree. 
We are brothers with the lungfish and sisters and siblings. What is this song? I have never heard it before. So if we were to include lungfish and sharks into the same family name, like let's say uh, these are the, um, let's say fish equals smith, right? I should have just... Yeesh. Yeesh. Right? F equals fish. Wait, no. Gum. This song is distracting me. That's better. You know what? You know what? Let's start over. We're starting over. It's fine. It, it'll be faster now that I can type. And also swap outs. What? What? What is happening? Okay. These are lung... Or I could just say lungfish. Lung? Shark? And us. Right? If we wanted to give a single... I can do this too, can't I? Bam! Now I'm not... Now I can move things around. Okay. So, these are lungfish, these are us, and these are sharks. If we wanted to give all fish the name... The family name of Smith. So this is Lungfish Smith and this is Shark Smith. We would have to draw a family tree that also includes us. So we would also be us Smith. People Smith. That doesn't sit well with most people. So we kind of just ignore. Okay, there's too much high action right now. We're chill. We're chill. But actually, let me do the. How do I get to paintbrush? Oh, this is paintbrush. I just need a bigger brush width. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We're, we are erasing stuff. So, our new family tree consists of an exclusive relationship. Exclusively between sharks and lungfish. And their rela relatives and their relatives. But excluding us. Here we can imagine... Another, um, where is it? Another, make this smaller. Another branch that includes us, right? We, like, we, we aren't, we aren't considered fish, right? So, this is an exclusive paraphyletic relationship. Big point of this is, how, how are we related? What, what, what makes us closer to these guys than us to sharks or sharks to lungs that's what i want to uncover also i did i broke something a little bit actually let me just do that then i can reuse it so i want to do a couple of things one understand fish that's step one step two understand fish eyes that seems like a very specific thing to do also why? Who cares? Uh, this. This. What the heck is that? Its eye is surrounded in bone. Not like, like, it's surrounded in bone, but it's, th there's a little bone rattling around. Well, I actually, it wouldn't be rattling, but you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, here. Why? I hate you. This. There is a bone inside of the skull, and the eye moves around with it. How did- what? How? Also, platypus. Why do they lay eggs? Also, why don't we lay eggs? What's the deal with airline food? Also, this guy, you can see this guy's missing it. This. This is the eye. It's hard here. That's weird. At least in- t What the heck is this animation? That's terrifying. I don't- I don't want that to happen to anyone. Um... This is taxidermy, so someone's replaced the eye. But that's a- that's a basic idea, like... They have eye bones. What? 
Why? How? Huh? What does it what does it even mean to have eye bones? What is the path that these things took to get to having eye bones? So I want to under I want to answer that question. And then I also want to find out some other stuff. So there's a couple places we can start. Uh one is this. Um, except for the part where it doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. <gasps> okay, okay, never mind. So, what are we looking at right here? Well, these are all bacteria. I don't care. Like, yeah, bacteria. There's an important place in the evolutionary tree for these guys. I don't really care. Archaea. I also don't really care. I care about animals and all the eukaryotes. So, at least for now, I'm going to stick to that. I also want to get the main animals. So, right here, we have a list, or more of a map, of all these animals. So, I want to get a, a basic... Um, Actually, I don't even need to do this on paper. I can just do this on, like, a Word doc or something. Just kind of, like... So, what first, I'm going to list animals that I think would be important to include. Obviously, humans. Uh, so, we can start with that. Also... Let's change fonts to D font. It's not the prettiest font, but it'll do. Also, make sure we have no spacing after paragraph, and F in the chat. Okay. Why would you do that? There's, there's... See, it goes to Calibri. Very rude. I, I do not approve. So, we want humans. Can I make a checklist? Just, just... Or I guess I can do bullets. There we go. Humans. We want those. Then we have chimps. I'm, I'm going to stop, stop capitalizing just to save time. Oh, it does it on its own. Perfect. Lemurs. Um, I want spider monkeys also. Spider monkey. Oh yeah, spider monkey. Then we have rabbits. I want rats and mice. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'm kind of going down the chain and back up again. Um... Hedgehog. Yeah, those things are cool. So to reiterate, I am making a, a non-exhaustive list of all the animals that I want to include. That way I can just start with the animal. Hi, Tanya. And then move my way through. So, seal. Do we think those are cute? Sure. So, Tanya, name an animal or a plant or whatever you want, and I'm going to include it in the Tree of Life. Right now, I'm just making a simple list. Lion, wolf, I also want cats, which would go under lion. Horse, zebra, goat. Let's do goats. I think there's a goat down here Some No? Oh yeah, they're considered even-toed ungulates, or odd. I can't count. Uh, woe indeed. Uh, whales. Whales are weird, so I definitely want to include whales. Um, hippo, I guess, sure, let's do that. Uh, goat, uh, I don't, are pigs? I think the pigs are more related to bears. Let's do pigs, which, if you know anything about pigs and science, guinea pig? Yes, I will include, I think they're related to mice. So, guinea pig. And sure, we'll throw hamster in there, because... Hamster? Hamster? Is it hamster? Hamster? Which is right. What? Now I'm confused. Hamster? Hamster. No P. Okay. Got it. I learned how to spell the word hamster. Congrats to me. Why am I doing this? Explain myself? No. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating a list of animals that I want to include, and then... Here's the kicker. I'm going to make it nerdy, as if it weren't already, using this. 
So the basic structure here is eukaryotes, and then I explain where it diverges, a basic description of what these things are, in case I don't know, and what the classification of this group is. Then we go to the subgroup. So bicont, uh, these are the, uh, doesn't matter. These things, I don't remember, I don't remember. Amoeba, non-amoeba, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And all the fungi live here. And in this group, and in this subgroup, and in this subgroup, there's all the animals. So basically, the family tree. But, if I don't like something, like, hey, I really hate amoebas, boop, I don't have to look at any of their descendants. And, hey, I really hate li literally all of this, boop, I don't have to look at it. And this gives a very simple way to illustrate hierarchy. So, for example, let's say there's something related to fungi that aren't fungi. Then I could be like, false fungi. And this zero here is just so that the Jason will be happy, because I can do this to it. Oh, apparently I can't do this to it. What happened? What? What? Um, okay, let's do this. I should actually have this open alongside all of this. If everything will make sense soon, don't you worry. Jason Checker, here it is. Oh yeah, this is also kind of a silly song. On line 17? Oh, I forgot a comma. Huh. Boop, I can do that. So now anyone can open this document, open it up in its fullness, and then read it, right? If they have word wrap, like I do, you know, they'll be able to read everything, but maybe that's a little weird, but they can zoom out, zoom in, unlike a word document, which doesn't let you do this. That's the key thing. Uh, but false fungi, I don't think exist. I don't think that's a real thing. So we're going to remove that for now and move on. So this will be helpful for later. Uh, what was I doing? Ah yes, collecting animals. So if you have a favorite animal or other animal that you're interested, hey, how does this relate to other animals? Uh, too bad. Uh, no, j go ahead and tell me. So camel, uh, elephant, dugong, aardvark, that's interesting. Bats are related to hippos? I need to I need to fact check that because that doesn't make any sense at all. But I don't know things, so that's what this is all about. Llamas, yes, those are ungulates. These these go right about right about here with camels. Llama. Oh, I don't know why I put an S there. Just llama will suffice. Uh, koala. Uh, what are they called? Platypus. Platypus. And kangaroo. The Australian mammals that don't make any sense. Tetrapods. Tetrapods. What's a tetrapod? You're a tetrapod. Your mom's a tetrapod. Your whole family's a tetrapod. Your dog, your cat, your the things that you eat, they're all tetrapods. Well, except for fish. Those are the only non-tetrapods that most people eat. Um, so yeah. If you eat it, it's probably a tetrapod. So... Yeah. So let's make our way back up to the top. Uh, see, that's the problem with diagrams like this, is that they're rich with information. Am I streaming on other websites or something? No, you. Uh, just YouTube. Can't tell if you're counteracting your own words or there's someone else you're talking to. Well, I was talking to Tanya. Um, who you may not be able to see her messages. Oh, well, you, you would see the most recent one. Um, but yeah. That was the only thing. So I... Tetrapods, yes. So the what started all of this is these guys. These guys. Fish. Fish 
Um, so I definitely want to get in the uh, fish, the marlin, and the sailfish because they have the eye bones. They have bones in their eyes. Weird. Um, also, lungfish. Uh, the Soella camp. That's one of them that I wanted to get. Um, what is this? Is that like an extinct species? Because it looks like a crocodile with a tadpole tail. Sometimes you have to choose live chat instead of default top chat to see messages. Yeah, I set it to live. Um, sturgeon. So st the the sturgeon is an animal that I I don't I don't know like. It's never existed to me before, if, you, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I don't know what to do with it. What the heck is a sturgeon? I never knew. And then I learned. Uh, mm hmm. Pause. I need to start doing this in an order that makes more sense. Uh, do I? No. Okay, so here's the problem. This is a list of not every animal that I'm going to include, just the ones that are important. As you can tell, this is going to be a long list. So I need to do things in an order that saves time, because my basic idea is I either want to go in reverse chronological order or in chronological order. If I have to go left and right and left and right and left and right, it takes too much time. So snakes are not there yet. I'm going to get to the reptiles once I'm done with all the fishy stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with... I'm gonna start with humans, then wait, make my way down, or make my way, not exactly backwards, but sideways a little bit, then make my way up to the things like, whatever these things are, the lungfish, the selisoelacanth, kelacanth, I don't know how to say it. We're gonna skip the sturgeon for now, and the sharks and all that. Or actually, no, we are going to include the shark. That's what makes this very weird. It, Evolution is complicated. So, okay. Silicanth. Oh, the, sh the song just ended. Okay. So, sharks. Then we're going to go to the lamprey. Uh, lamp lamprey. Yeah. And the lancelet. Those are really the most important... Oops. The most important animals in evolutionary history. Because they're... Like, look at the red arrow. Or the red lines. Mammals, reptiles, uh, all fish, dinosaurs, birds, all of that comes from the line from which lancelets, lampreys, lungfish, and... Well, not, not all of them, but... Point is, this is important for the history of it all, and also the classification. What should I name your new world? Mario Shrimp. It won't make sense to anyone. Not even me. That's how you know it's a good name for a world. Uh, okay, so we did Lancelet, and we can stop. We don't have to go any further, although we will go further later. Now let's make our way back up the tree. So, Sturgeon, Clownfish. Oh, we wanted the, um, with Sharks. Sharks are the most, the clo- The closest relative to the shark is the Manta Ray. Or the other, the rays. The I'm going to write manta ray because I don't know what the the thing is, but it all makes sense. Okay, now amphibians. So there's a bunch of cool and cool amphibians. We have newts. We have salamander, and obviously. You're dead. The axolotl. Can't not include the axolotl. One of my... I think that... Yeah, that's my favorite amphibian. Uh, turtles. Uh, soft and hard shells. Because I have no idea how that works. Uh, Tortoise. 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 Uh, Alright, that... The iguana. Igua. Nah. Uh, the coral snake. It pictured as the king snake, but I don't care. Uh, coral snake. 
or just venomous in general. I don't know how venom works. I want to know. Axolotl is salamander. Yes. So, some of these are species names, like axolotl. I think there's only like one or two species of axolotl, uh, and like platypus. Um, but other things are like groups of animals, like elephant. Camel's basically two species. Uh, Marlin, I think there's multiple species. And salamanders are like a broader category, as turtles and tortoises are. So some of these are going to be specific animals, some of these are going to be animal groups. And it'll all make sense when I start putting things together. Okay, so... Mm... Oh yeah, Coral Snake, the... This is still too high energy for me. That's chill. Um, uh, the king cobra. Not caps. Cobra. The cobra is a snake that exists, and it's very weird. So I want to include it. Rattlesnake. Is it one word? Yes. Now we go the dinosaur direction. So if you have a favorite dinosaur, now's the time. T Rex. Obviously. The Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus? Uh, Triceratops. Ceratops. I know there's multiple species. Is that? That's not how you spell it. How do you... Oops. Triceratops? Is that it? It's not auto-correcting me, which is weird. I don't... I don't know why. Triceratops. Yay, I did it. Um... Any other... Oh, um... Non... Dinosaur. Oh, right, there's, there's stuff here. The Iguanodon. Iguanodon. The Ichthyosaur. Ichthy... It doesn't really matter how I spell it here, because I'm going to find the right spelling later. Um, oh, poisonous frogs. I want to find out how frogs got their poison. Poison, venom, all that fun stuff is fascinating to me. Chicken is your favorite dinosaur. Micropachycephalosaurus. All right, I have never heard of that. What? Why isn't it letting me... Okay, there we go. Uh, so there are non-avian dinosaurs and non-dinosaur dinosaurs that we call dinosaurs. For example, the ichthyosaur, I think. Uh, the pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? Dactyl. Oh, there was one that used to be my favorite. What was it called? It was- it started with a D. Did D something? It, it had either a weird head? Like a dome-shaped head? Or... Maybe like a, like a, oh, it had a, um, it wasn't, it was like a horn or something. I don't know. I'll probably find it. Um, so ichthyosaur, pterodactyl. Any other dinosaur dinosaurs? Because if not, I'll move on to the birds. Chicken. The duck. The goose, the swan, there are so many birds, ostrich, um, vultures, and other um, scavengers, especially the really big ones. How do they get so big? Why do they get so big? Toucan, uh, the red-faced peach-faced lovebird. <laughs> That's a subspecies of the peach face lovebird. Uh, penguins. Those things are weird. The flamingo. Or the different species of flamingo. Uh, toucan. Um, what's another parrot? The ones that mimic parrots that speak. That's what I'm going to write down. Um... Any other useful or interesting birds? We have penguin. Um, I'm trying to think of like the the craziest, because like 
One of the things I want to capture in this is the weird stuff. For example, the platypus. Or the barrel I had fish. That was one of the fish that I forgot. Uh, fish, fish, fish. So, I don't know if you're familiar with the barrel eyed fish. Its eyes are shaped like barrels. It's weird. And their eyes stick out of their head. So, they've developed a dome around their eyes. It's weird. They're weird animals. And if you look on Wikipedia, you might get a, sen a wrong sense of what they look like. Because those are the drawings of dead specimens that don't have the dome. Anyway, that's really interesting to me. Um, we have floating birds. We have birds that fly real good. Oh, owls. They turn their heads around. Why? How? How did, how did that happen? Um, any other interesting birds? I'm sure there's plenty of interesting birds, but exceptional birds or groups of birds. Meh. Probably c come along. The cool thing about this is we're going to find interesting stuff along the way. So we don't have to worry too much about finding the right ones. And that's it for this red section of the Tree of Life. Now we can move on to Shoebill Stork. If it's just another stork, I'm going to stomp you. Bill. I guess fine. Storks, storks are interestingly. Yet. Oh, oh yes, the shoe bill. Yes, we are. In, we are definitely including that. Thank you, Tiny. Yes. Look at its stupid face. It's got a big beak. Yeah, we're gonna include it. Um, I would have included it anyway, just because you said it. But that's a really cool fish. Um. Fungus. So there's lots of species of fungus. Peacocks. Oh, yes. Peacock. Okay. And we're going to move on to something very similar. Not you. Is this the high pace? Whatever. I'm basically... Yeah, this is the one. We're just going to have chiller music. So we're moving on to the closest thing related to birds. Fungi. That's, of course, a joke. Um, we're just moving to what's convenient to us. But there's a lot of different mushrooms, and I guess I want to include the um, the ones that humans like a lot. So, fly argic, fly agaric, um, some other hallucinogenic ones, but um, there's some that have really weird shapes. And there's also the fungi that don't grow into mushrooms. Um, just like shiitake, um, portobello, port... So bello. Um, but then we also have like puffballs. Puff balls. And yeast. Ye yeast. We're gonna find more mushrooms and stuff, but first, uh I like how the the <laughs> this just says amoeba. Like, oh, you know, fly agaric or agaric, sea lettuce, ore weed, and literally the entire group of amoeba, which comprises millions of species, probably. So, yeah. This is an interesting graphic. LCD. Liquid crystal this way? <laughs> so let's go down the rabbit hole of plants. If you have a favorite plant, now's the time. I'm not even going to really bother with all the classification. That's a little beyond the scope. Um, let's do plants last, because I feel like that's the most boring one. Like, flowering plants are pretty interesting, and there's other interesting stuff, like um, the, uh, the one that smells like death. The... Uh, Venus flytrap. Because I definitely want to know how that happened. LSD, yes. <sighs> I, 
I I have seen that. Um. Yes, I will take your suggestion. We are going to do Orobanch. Control shift paste is not working, so I'm just gonna do that. Um oak. Oh, uh, the tall trees, like um redwood. Redwood, sequoia, 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 sequoia. Um, oh, kababao, bawa, bawa, bab. Why do these ones have weird spellings? Bawa, bab, bawa, bawa, bab, boba, boba, bobo, bawa, bab, 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 That one. Uh, then we want to include magnolia. Ooh, oat. Ooh. Um, so this is really interesting. Oat. Wheat. Corn. Rice. Name something that you eat that's a plant. Like a grain or something. Um, what are the main grains? There's oat, barley, rice, corn, and oat. Yeah, that's all of them. Um... Buckwheat. Oh, yes. Buckwheat. Gotta include buckwheat. These are all grasses. I don't know if you knew that, but literally all of these are grass. You know what's interesting about grass? Grass diverged from other plants after the dinosaurs died out. Ergo, dinosaurs didn't walk on grass. That's weird to me. Like, they, they walked on stuff that was like grass, but they didn't walk on grass. They didn't eat grass. Like, I don't know if they ate moss, or if there was some, like, replacement, or something that grass replaced. But yeah, that's weird. Beans, that's a good one. Beans and other legumes, like, uh, pistachio, peanut, um... What else do people eat? Oh, you wrote a uh, millet. Millet. I don't actually know what that is, so I'm gonna find out when I look it up. Um, pine tree. Uh, any other things that you eat? Or I guess um, beans. What? 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 Orange. Lemon. Lime. Tangerine. Uh, uh, grapefruit. All these, all these fruits that I just mentioned, they formed like 55 million years ago? Yeah. Uh, that was weird. Uh, yeah. So, well, 55 to 66. So, there might have been a little bit of overlap, but most dinosaurs did not know what grass was. That's the weird thing. All these fruit I just mentioned, they're not real. I mean, they are real. All citrus fruits are made of a hybrid of three three different fruits. The pomelo, the citron, and the mandarin. So mandarin or oranges have more mandarin in them. And sorry for that weird music. That music's too weird. That music's too weird. That music's too weird. This music's good. So the mandarin orange has more mandarin in it. You have to be specific. What? I've already like I'm I'm trying to do so many things at once, like changing music and addressing the fact that I may or may not have just disconnected. Be specific about what? Okay, this is kind of funny. Oh, no, we're gonna get to that. Banana, actually, no, yeah, uh, by Rose. I do know that the banana is related to the rose. And I think not too far removed is the strawberry. What am I being specific about? I don't know what you're talking about. And if you tell me what I'm talking what you're talking about, then I'll know what I'm talking about, and then I'll be more specific. Um
another berries and non berries that we call berries um and i think we'll definitely find more food that we eat that to include here but i'm moving right along pine tree mahogany i feel like there's another end there mahogany no i meant for me you goof ah so are you calling me the goof or yourself the goof again I'm gonna go with you. You're the goof. Ha. Got him. I need to stop saying goof. No you. <laughs> so, Fern. It makes me sound like I'm 50. I mean, I say... What do I say? Ding dong? I call people ding dong sometimes. I, I, I don't know what that makes me, but it... So, moving on. Uh, liverwort. Liverwort is, like, I don't care, but I think it has some important evolutionary history, so I'm going to include it. Moss. So, I, yeah, I think that's what um, dinosaurs walked on, because that diverged a lot sooner. Oh, the ginkgo. Oh, yes, the ginkgo. The ginkgo uh, has interesting something or another. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe, maybe I'm going crazy, but I think the ginkgo's cool. I don't even know what cool means in this context. What is what what? Sea lettuce. Because I don't know what that is. Sea berry? I don't know what it's called. Uh glizzies. I don't know what glizzies are. How they happened. How literally anything. And then there's red seaweeds. I'm not really too interested in the specifics, but I'm interested in how they got red. Uh and now we're going to things that are or weed. Those aren't plants. And cyanobacteria. So I want to find out who who and how photosynthesis. Photosynthesis uh evolved. That's one thing that I, I have always found interesting. So now we're going to go back up through all the non-chordates. So these are the things that don't have a backbone. These are the things that have weird numbers of legs. So the fish um, and their descendants have four feet. Tetrapod. Um, we have feet that are hands. Uh, and kangaroos have feet that are... arms i don't know but these guys these guys don't have your normal number of feet they have six feet like the insects or eight feet like the octopus or five like the starfish this is where things get interesting yes glizzy uh specifically the wild glizzy um so we are gonna go with the sponge sponges have been around for hundreds of millions of years some of the earliest stuff uh, jellyfish, jellyfish, uh, specifically the, um, I don't want to save this file, you moron. Word documents, thinking it's got some sort of authority over my ability to save things. Goodness. Uh, specifically the ones that are really bad for us. The, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the, Portuguese man of war. Man, oh gosh, oh dear, oh war. Um, we have coral. That's. It's an interesting concept, but like. They're stupid. Coral is stupid. You go onto the Wikipedia page for coral, it's like. It's like I'm. It's like they found a way to can just being annoying. I don't know. Something about coral just turns me off from being interested. So there's the hard one and the soft one. And that's all I really care about. How'd they get so big? Why are they so colorful? 
how do we not kill them? Um, and other fun questions you can ask your friends. So, see an enemy is apparently similar anemone. It's spelled right there. Anemone. Anemone. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Oops. Anemone. 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 Okay. So these are the Canadarians. Uh, and then we have the flatworm. Those things are interesting because breathing is hard. I don't know if you've ever tried to breathe before, but it takes like gallons of air. And there's not that much air in the water. And some things just don't know how to process that efficiently. So the flatworm figured out a way to do it the easy way. You just make yourself flat as a pancake so you have more surface area. That's that's literally how they do it. That's the whole that's their whole stick is being flat. And and they got away with it. And the scientists who named them they're like, "Oh wow, those worms, they sure are flat." And the name stuck like the decision to be flat stuck. Um, mussel, clam, oyster. What other shelled things do people eat? Clam, mussel, oyster. <laughs> Moving on. Ammonite. They have cool shells. Octopus. Specifically, the big ones. Uh, squid. Cuttlefish. Uh, the naughty loss. Not... Naughty, naughty loose, naughty loose. Okay. The gastropods. I don't know. So, okay. Shush. Quick rundown of the names. A bivalve is a creature with two valves. A valve being a shell. A cephalopod literally means head foot. It's got a head. And it's got feet. Well arms, legs, tentacles. They're head feet. Gastropods. Gastro means stomach. They have stomach feet. And they also poop out of their necks. And they also breathe out of their necks. Out of the same hole they poop out of. So... Yeah, I don't know what made them think that was a good idea, but... They got pretty shells. So, as a consequence, I am interested in snails and the nudie branch because it's a funny name and also they're colorful. Uh, Welk, I don't really care for, but you know what I care about? Banana slug. I'm not usually really excited about slugs and snails and that sort of thing, but the banana slug... It's a, it's a snail, or sorry, it's a slug, shaped like a banana, colored like a banana, and the same size as a banana. It is perfect. I don't know how it figured out to be that precise shape, but 10 out of 10. Um, so there's these things that I'm not... Gigantoproductus? I, I don't know what to do with this information, but I'm going to write it down. The lamp shell is weird. And you know what else is weird? The gooey duck. Goo the gooey duck. The gooey duck is weird. Now we have the true worms, such as... This is... What is... Acid tunnel of love. Okay. Now we're in the real worm territory. About to get... Worm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I literally have no idea what's going on anymore. Ragworm. Sure. Peanut worm. Oh, acorn worm. Those things are suggestively shaped. We'll get to those. Um, nematode. That's an important step. Either in evolution or in... What was it? Neurology? I don't know. The Velvet Worm. Those things are interesting. Velvet Rom Worm. That's how you spell it. 
the trilobite, I think... I think this is related to... Oh, the E here means extinct. So, these guys are extinct, but the lancelet... The lancelet's still alive? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, these guys are extinct as well. These fishy things. Yeah, okay, the, the area of Pteryx, yeah, I knew that one was it. Okay, so we're going down this branch, so Trilobite, and I don't know if that's the same thing as, um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But, I want to learn about, um, the horseshoe crabs, that's what they are. Oh, they're crabs. Or crustaceans. Maybe. Horseshoe crabs. That's interesting. Um, Let's go to the right first, because I feel like that's going to be easier. Centipedes and millipedes. Those things are really fascinating. Because, like, look at their relatives. You have the mite, which has eight legs. The scorpion, which has eight legs and two pincers. You have spiders. You have shrimp, which have ten... Um, and the trilobite, which I guess has a lot of legs. The centipede, it's got like dozens of legs. The millipede, hundreds of legs. Why? Why did they feel like that was the best way to, to, um, to transport their existing selves? Travel. That might be the right word. Um, so might scorpion um there are lots of species of spider the jumping spider is an important one black widow daddy long legs tarantulas that's a really interesting uh have a tarantula have a friend who collects tarantulas and other big spiders it's always fascinated, fascinated me how they're able to... Like, they have eight eyes. How did they get so many eyes? You have the cilipedes... Cilipedes. Centipedes and millipedes that have lots of legs. And the spiders that have lots of eyes. That's interesting. So now we're in decapod territory. So we have... The crab. The lobster. Lobster. Why do I feel like that has a P in it? Um, shrimp. The mantis shrimp, which is really cool. Um, what else is ten legs? Crab, lobster. Ooh, the, um, the deep sea giant Japanese? Japanese? The, the Japanese big one. Daddy Long Legs is not even a spider? It's not? Well, we're gonna learn that. Or at least I am. You probably already did. So, yeah, all the all the arachnids and arthropods. Yeah, arthropods, that's the, right, the proper term. And then arachnids includes the Daddy Long Legs. I want to learn about that. Um... Any other crustaceans? I guess I want to understand the difference between the shrimp and the uh, krill. Krill? No, it's not krill. It's a... When you call someone a, a small person, a shrimp, a blank. Shrimp. Prawn. That's what it is. I don't think anyone calls small people prawn. Never mind. Hey, prawn, get over here. Like, I don't know. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Um, insects. The, probably the most diverse group of animals. Um, so we have the dragonfly, which has amazing eyes. Its face is entirely eyes. That's weird. Uh, the cricket and all the grasshoppers. So here's another interesting fact. The grasshopper came before the grass. So that begs the question. What did the grasshopper hop on if grass didn't exist? 
Exactly. Um, let's go back to spiders real quick. I think Harvest Man... Harvest Man is another situation where you have a non-spider that looks like a spider. So I'm going to look into that. Grasshopper, leaf hopper? No, it's, what is it? It's, is it leaf hopper? Anyway, somewhere in this family is the really colorful ones. Um, so we'll get into that. Cockroach. Fine. I don't want to, but fine. Fly, bee, butterfly. Uh, specifically the blue one, the bluer one, and the even bluer one, um, as well as the monarch. Any other butterflies? Rooster and a chicken. Um... Sounds like a skill issue. So, like, Rooster is the male one. That's that's all I know. Dragonfly? Yes, we have the dragonfly. Monarch butterfly. What other butterflies? I know there's one I'm missing. One that's... Zebra. Long wing. Basically, the biggest and the longest. Longest wingspan. Spawn. <laughs> okay. Um, the ladybug. Any other bugs? Any other animals that you can think of? Uh, the ant. The wasp. Which are actually basically the same thing. Just one of them flies. Um... Uh... Or they're in the same family, I should say. They're not the same thing. Any other insects that are... Oh, the, the black one that has big horns. It's a beetle. Black beetle horn. Yes, these guys. No, not those guys. The ones... Yes, this one. I think, maybe... Basically, the ones from, uh, it's the Bug's Life movie. Not that. I don't remember what it... This one? It doesn't tell me what it is. Synodendron... Rugosum. No, it's not this one, but something like it. Um, something like it. Any other oddities of nature? Um, oh yeah, ants. Uh, so we want the fire ant, the leaf cutter, the super spicy one. Um, and for bees, we want the honeybee, the yellow jacket, which may not even be a j bee, yellow jacket, I don't know if it's one word, and the bubble, bumblebee. There may not be a single species for these, by the way. Um, Is it easier to do delete? Yeah, it is. Okay. Big black beetle. Too intense. Too weird. I don't actually remember how the song goes. So that's everything on this at least. Um, anything. Yes, so, in addition to doing this wrong, okay, 
Here we go. So we're going to do the, the plants last. And then we also want, after all those important things are done, we want... They make... The, so they list these, so we're just going to type it out. Entamoda. The Nixomikata. Nixomikata. Uh, the ciliates. Flagellates. The tri. Comonads. I don't know what any of this means. Microsporidia and Diplomonad. Anything else? Basically, we don't care about this. Or at least, I don't. Eukaryotes. Excavata. Uh, Opisthocanta. I already have. Archaea Placida. Archaea... Archaea Placida. I think that's the, um... The plants... Roma Aliolata and Amoebazoa we already have. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So what we basically have here, so the width of each of these lines indicates um and it gets how many families there are and the length is just basically the length of time um but it's not exactly to scale so it's or maybe it is to scale the important thing is that you can notice that some things widen and then get narrower and uh snakes or at least the family that gave rise to snakes or the group that gave rise to snakes, they just did not do very well <laughs> compared to other organisms. You have whatever the heck this is um, that just died out in an extinction event in the Devonian period, as did the amphibian and all other arthropod, or sorry, tetrapod family. They experienced an extinction event, but they didn't quite die out. Um... I don't know what this is. And then you can see the Permian extinction right here, where things really got narrow. Um, and then at the end of the... Um, yeah, at the end of the Cre Cretaceous... Cretaceous? Yeah, Cretaceous period. Most things didn't really see that big of a... An, like, the only... The only group that experienced big issues were the reptiles here. The dinosaurs and such they they didn't have a very easy and most of them went extinct um but the amphibians the fish the, the rodents and other mammals the avian stuff and what the heck is that oh the cartilaginous fish and the so this is what i i, I don't think anyone was here for it um when i mentioned that there are fish that are more closely related to us than other fish. And that's what started this whole thing. So, here we are in the mammals. Here are the sharks. And here are the fish. We are more closely related to these guys. For example, lungfish. Um, tuna. We're more closely related to tuna than tuna is related to fish. That's bizarre. Obviously, they're tens of millions of years or hundreds of millions of years. But it's weird that we classify these things as fish when they are more related to us than they are related to each other. I find that fascinating. Um, That's about all that I can get out of this. Like, maybe this will be helpful... No, no, I want to copy the image itself. Just as a resource. 
I don't know that I'll use it that much. Uh, okay. So, let us begin. So, I'm going to just put this on the side. Boop. And we're going to kind of go in rough order that they appear in. This is going to take a while, so bear with me. We have here. So these are the times. I think I'm only going to... I don't know how much time I want to devote to this. Because these are the geologic time periods that I want to include to some extent. And these are the actual the groups. So let's trace out humans first. Humans. Come on. You can do it. Okay. So. What I'm going to do, basically, is... Because I want to be as specific as possible. So, you can see here that it says we're Homo sapiens in Homo, in Homini, blah, 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 blah. In Chordata, which is in Animalia. So you could say, okay, we are in Animalia. Specifically in Chordata, specifically in Mammalia, Mammalia, specifically primates, blah, 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 blah. Except, I want to be as specific as possible. Actually, Chordata is inside of the superphylum Deuterostomia, which basically means the anus forms before the mouth in embryos, which is inside of Nephros Nephrosa, which is inside of Bilateria, which basically means all the organisms that, are bilateral that have bilateral symmetry. We are bilaterally symmetrical. Fish are bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, all reptiles, all birds, all mammals. Um, and insects, I think, as well. And then there's Parahoxosa and Eumetazoa. So I'm here in Nephrozoa. And I'm just going to go back one step. And I'm going to keep going back steps until I find that two things are right next to each other. <gasps> which they're not. Oh, which they are, which they are, yeah. This is the sub-kingdom. Okay, so, so this is, this is... We are getting somewhere. So... Dom... Okay. Shush. I need to focus. So, um, here I'm basically having a description of everything. I think I'm just going to do this and copy it. So, for um, you, ma. The heck? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, Metazoa, is inside of Animalia. So, let me replace Animalia. Uh, not replace per se, but like this. Okay. I know this is not making sense quite yet. We tab all this in. And this is not a domain, it is a kingdom. Animalia kingdom. Um, this is looking ugly, so let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to zoom back in. Don't worry. I'm just shown... Wait. Philozoa? Wait, where is Animalia? Will that ever make sense? That's a good question. Yes, Animalia is in Philozoa. I'm just not able to read. Okay. Oh, no, no, but Chowanazoa. The heck is that? Is that a typo? What is Chowanazoa? Oh, Chowanazoa and Animalia. Subdivisions, Animalia. Literally, what the heck? Oh, that's right. So this is the way I was doing it. I, I was, I'm going the wrong way. I need to start going down. So Chowanazoa is a subgroup that's unranked. Then there's Animalia. And then we're going to go down, if possible, as finely as we can. Okay. 
we're actually gonna skip the song and that song to something more chill. Okay. So the animalia. We are going to say these are the animals. Wow. Uh, temporal range, the cryogenian to the present. 665 million years ago. What? That's what you said about the eukaryotes. Literally, what are you talking about? 1850. I don't know... I, I, Uh, 100, 1,850. That million. Three. Six. Yes, okay. The Oro Syrian to the present. Okay, shut up. Cryogenian. The description of animals. What are animals? They're multicellular eukaryotic organisms. And... They're, they're animals, dude. They're animals, dude. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at this, it's a strawberry spider. Got a cute little thing. Where'd it go? Where's the cute picture of the spider? Oh well. Now we are going to go down. Um, I don't think... Biologically. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. So we need to make sure that all the little lines here correspond to the lines here. So Animalia, check. Eumetazoa, not check. So let's go to Chordata. Um, Animalia, Eumetazoa, check. Parahoxosa, check. There's a capital letter in there? Why? That doesn't make... You, talking about sense, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you put a capital letter in the middle of a word? Uh, Bilateria. Nephrozoa. Protostomia. Oh. Wait. Actually. What? Uh-huh. What? This is the animal Wikipedia page. Oh, there it is. Deuterostomia. Okay. Deuterostomia, check, and chordata. All right, we are synced. So this doesn't tell us anything interesting. Um, except for these other organisms, so we'll keep it for later. But we're just worried about the humans right now. So... This little list right here is going to give us all the info we need. You metazoa. Copy that. So, I would just... I, hold on. Yes, okay, that parses. We're moving on. Now we're starting to make progress. So we have you metazoa. These are... What are they? They are well after animal. Also known as diploplast. I'm just gonna write diploplast here because I I don't know what that means. We're not gonna worry about the details right now. We are more so worried about getting to humans. So here make this look Like this. Okay. They diverged 635 million years ago in the Edicaran. Ed Edicaran? Description.
Ah, they have true tissues organized into germ layers, the presence of neurons and muscles, and an embryo that goes through a gastrula stage. Embryo... Gastrula. That sounds like stomach to me. Uh, neurons and muscles. Uh, as opposed to, for example... I don't know, dude. Uh, what isn't a eumetazoa? That's that's what I'm wondering. No. Still no. I need to figure out this playlist. So, non-eumetazoas include the parazoa. The, the coral. Which I mentioned I kind of hate. And sponges. Or maybe coral are... We'll figure that out later. Right now, we're just worried about humans. Also, the formatting on this is there. Um, so they have gastrula, neurons, and muscles. And they are not a kingdom. They are a sub-kingdom. Alright, we sorted out that crazy thing. Now for the parahuxosa. So now we copy all this again. Actually, copy that as well. Okay, now we're zooming in, question mark? Yes. This is looking really ugly. I don't know why it is doing that. I might just have to move this over here. Move. Thank you. Okay, that's a lot easier to work with. So, we are now working with uh, Parahoxosa, which has... For whatever reason, Hoxozoa. Hoxozoa. Has a capital letter in the middle of the word. Go figure. So, okay, I don't really care about that. Uh, the relationship, blah, blah, blah. Uh, some studies have presented evidence. Uh, okay. Parahox. That's the root of the word. Okay. Characteristics. It's defined by the presence of several gene subclasses. Um... Okay, so they're, they are the... Uh... The parahox is... A... It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a clade. So, let's write that down. I don't know, dude. They just are. They diverged 602... 5 million years ago in the Edicaran. They are described as... Having para-ox genes. That's as interesting as it gets. Now we get to see if my formatting actually works till we get to humans. If so, we're in great we're 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 doing great for ourselves. Wait, we're not done yet. Okay, so we did parahuxosa, now for bilateria. Bilateria. Tio tiaria. Bilateria. Actually, no, not the song. Bilateria. These are guys bio that are bi bilaterians. I'm going to start not capitalizing these because it isn't that helpful. But the main name I'm giving a capital letter. So these diverged 560 million years ago. In the Etikaran geological period. Uh, they have a left and right sides that mirror each other. 
so bilaterally symmetrical. Oh boy, and this is a clade. I think that's all the information we really need. These are also clades, the Nephrozoa. Actually, we can go back to... Oh, wait. We can also do it that way, can't we? Bioteria, unranked. Nephrozoa. All right, we're back to this page. Huzzah. So, Nephrozoa. My guess is this has something to do with kidneys. Is, so maybe we can get a sense of what this means. Blah, blah, blah. The colon, the digestive, and excretory organs. Kidneys. Yay! Coelum. Because protonephridia are only found in protostomes, they cannot be considered a synamorphy of this group. Huh. Okay, that's concerning. Basically what they're saying here is that, hey, you know this name that's the title of the wiki page? It might not be the right name. Oops. So what's kind of weird to me So this stuff is the sister group, meaning this doesn't... What the heck are you? You're just a blob. That's weird. Huh. I'm gonna add this to my list. Uh, this would go... I guess it doesn't really matter where it goes. It can go at the very end. Again, we're trying to get through this as fast as possible. <laughs> uh... It's fine. They're important distractions. Learning! Oh. Okay, so we're not really sure about this thing. Okay, cool. I don't care. So, Nephrozoa does have colon, digestive tract, and excretory organs. So, what are these called? Nephros... Nephra... What are these called? The animals in this are called... Hmm. That's not helpful. I don't know what to call these. These are... Neph... Brid... Wait, Nephridia are only found in protosomes. Oh. Wait, what? Because protonephridia are only found in protosomes. Okay, so they have no fridia. So nephridia having things. Nope. Sure. 
Um, they diverged five five eight million years ago. Five five eight million years ago in the Etikaran. So they have Koal. Koal what? Where does it say it? Koalom. Yeah, I know I spent a lot of time on that one. But it's important because that's the last clade we have to deal with. Now, we go straight to Deuterostomia. Anus first. That's the, uh, that's their deal. That's our deal. Deuterostomia. Wait. Do yeah, deuterostomia, yeah, deuterostomes. These diverged 540 million years ago. In the Cambrian. Fortunian. Wait, what? Oh, no. Um, oh no. So, I did it. We're just not going to worry about it. So, here's the thing. Technically. Okay, this is correct. There's nothing wrong about this. But it's incomplete. The Cambrian isn't just zero. It's full of stuff. In fact, it's full of so many things, most of them are named with numbers. Stage 2, Stage 3, Stage 4, Stage 10. That's the, that this is the naming scheme they came up with. So, as a result, uh, I've kind of decided to not care. Um, so instead of listing, you know, oh, this was in the Jiangshanian stage, I'm just going to say, it's in the Cambrian. It's, it's, in the, it's in the Cambrian. Cambrian. You know what I mean? Cambrian. From Cambria. Which is a place. So, when it says it's in the Fortunian stage of the Cambrian period, I'm just going to say it was in the Cambrian period. Because that seems like a much better way to use my time. I have 140 million in the Cambrian. What I could say is early Cambrian. That way I get a little more info out of it. Um, description. Second mouth. Anus. First. Mouth. Second. Yeah. And this is the first time we have, and the only time, we have Superphylum. Now we can do the next subgroup. I just destroyed it. So inside of Deuterostomia, 
we have clades. And I think I I think Yeah, Cordata. Alright, now we can go straight to here. Cordata. These are known as chordates. They diverged 518 million years ago in the third Cambrian. Yeah, that seems like a best way to do that. Hold on. This is- this is- I'm learning something right now. Wait, what? What? Oh, here. This is what it was. I am learning things. You said you asked if things will make sense, and things are making sense. Okay. So, description. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, they have a notochord. They have a dorsal hollow nerve cord. I don't know how that's distinct. Uh, an endo style slash thyroid. And pharyngeal slits. Now you might be asking, what does that mean? Still here watching you. You have the weirdest stream ever. <laughs> I like it. Better than the chest one. Yeah. So, notochord. That's not a very helpful in this. That's a pretty terrible image. Basically, this is a lungfish, and this is its notochord. This is the front where the text is, and that's its back. The notochord goes alongside all the organs behind it. We have notochords, or at least we did when we were embryos. This is what it looked like. Uh, this is our... This is... The top of the image is the back of us. The bottom of the image is the front of us. And the notochord is that center thing, which eventually developed into the spinal cord. Now, what I'm interested in is how that's distinguished from a dorsal hollow nerve cord. That, I have no idea what that means. Oh, and also, so some organisms have a notochord and not technically a spinal cord. I don't know what the distinction is, really. Oh, uh, notochord is, uh, what's the word? Made of cartilage. Uh, and ours is not made of cartilage. So dorsal, or maybe it is, I don't actually know what the spinal column is made of. The dorsal nerve cord is only one embryonic feature unique to all chordates. Among the other four, okay, don't care. It's a hollow cord dorsal to the notochord. It is formed a from a part of the ectoderm that rolls, forming the hollow tube. Uh, 
Okay. The cells eventually convolute into the body cavity, arranging themselves on the dorsal plane above the notochord. In the dorsal nerve cord is modified into the central nervous system, which comprises the brain and spinal cord. Wait, so what is a notochord? I was just on the page, and I, I still don't know what exactly it is. So a notochord is a flexible rod, which is similar in structure to the stiffer cartilage. Oh, so it's not quite cartilage, and it's not quite bone. Oh, and it's a precursor to the vertebra. So what it what originates as the notochord becomes the spinal the spinal structure, as opposed to the neural tube, which becomes the brain and spinal column. In all vertebrates other than the hagfish, the notochord is integrated into the vertebral column, with its original structure being nearly retained in the intervertebral discs. Oh, okay. So part of it ossifies into the um, the vertebra, and part of it remains kind of gushy. Cool. So that's the notochord. The dorsal hollow nerve cord differentiates into the spinal neurons. The endostyle is a thing. Don't really care. And the thyroid is the organ that excrete or yes it is the thing that excretes stuff it's a gland but there's also like a cartil cartilage and stuff that is associated with it and pharyngeal slits that's the other weird one essentially that means gears gears did i say gears gills they're gills um, and embryo, human embryos have those a little bit. Speaking of humans, metameric segmentation? Yeah, okay, anyway. So, we figured it out. Wow. We are chordates. I actually get distracted with this song because it's not consistent. Okay, so there's two... So if I go to the human page, we can see that Chordata leads directly into Mammalia. Except for where it doesn't, because actually... There's a subgroup of Chordata, which is paradoxically a higher... Wait, what? Group isn't a technical term? I thought it was. Kingdom phylum. Kings play chess on funny green squares. I thought group was an official... Thyroid is a gland that's, that tries to unalive me every couple of years. Oh. How come? Oh? Sorry, uh, I know we were going in a straight line straight to humans. We were, but there's these things. And they're really interesting. And I'm including them anyway. It'll be a quick divergence. Don't worry. We will not be here for very long. So what I'm going to do is have two things. This, comma, this. No. Like... Like that? Is that how things work? Yes, that is how things work. So, these are the cephalochordates. Cephalochordates. Or, I guess, chordata. Then these are cephalochordates. No, 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 no. The, the, top, the top is for humans. La. Be. Left. Okay. So. 
Record eight. Oh, no, I, I wanted to... I did the backwards thing. There. These diverged in the... I don't mean this word got me into hospital a couple times, nothing interesting. Oof. Yeah. I want to understand more about autoimmune disorders, because... Oh, uh... Because... Why? 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 Um... Because there's so many different types, and it's it's like, why does your body destroy yourself, right? I don't know. I want to understand more about it. Uh, it diverged, who knows when, in the third Cambrian. Description. I'm going to resume this later. Paste. Okay. Because these organisms are interesting. Anyway, so there's those guys, and then us. Olfactories. Which is an interesting name for a group. Too much. Uh. Wait. Are these? I need to. Oops. Oh yeah, okay. Because my body is dumb. I would nuke my thyroid sometime in the future to get revenge. <laughs> nice. I love that that's the... Well, I don't love, but it's... That's the solution. Drugs and nuke. Um, I am unable to read what? The description of these guys is, including us, have more advanced olfactory system. I thought it would be more interesting than just that, but yep. Now, not much has changed. It's still about 518 million years. Oh yeah, and it's a clade, as this is. And this doesn't have to be in quotation marks. Okay. 
This includes vertebrata, which are the vertebrates. Oh wait, I want to copy this, but without the com comma. Vertebrate. Vertebrate. Again, 518 million years ago. Wow, they are not being very specific. So this is the Agnatha. So we're, we're still in Chordata. We haven't gotten to Mammalia yet. We're still having to go through Ganathostomata. I'll try to be faster with this because I'm going to have a lot more things to look into later. In fact, yeah, this will be my speedrunning music. So, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, this is a lot more complicated than I thought it was. Um... So from Yuganath Stomata... Okay, this is weird, but okay, I, get, I think I get it now. So, in Yugnath, there's Tilio. In Tilio, there's Utilio. Okay, so I need to look into this. Inside of Utilio is Sarco. Sarco. Oops. Inside of which is Rip. Inside of which is Tetraprotomophora. Inside of which is Eo. Eo. Inside of which is Tetrapod. Inside of which is Reptilomorpha.
Reptil... Repti... Repti... Whatever. Um, inside of which is Amniota. Inside of which is Synapsida. We are Synapsids. Dunno. Inside of which is... Uh, you... Yes, you, Pelly. Inside of which... Oh, wait, what? Um... Is this it? Yes, okay. In <laughs> oh, boy. Inside of which is Meadow. Inside of which is... Hapto, inside of which is Svena, inside of which is Svena, again, that's not going to be confusing, don't worry, inside of which is Pan, Pan, inside of which is Thera, In oh no wait, there's another one in, in between. Man, this thing is annoying. Uh, inside of Spanthera, inside of which is Svena again? For some reason? I don't know, they couldn't make up their minds. Inside of which is Therapsida. Inside of which is... Oh, gosh. Therio, inside of which is you. Inside of which is Synodonta. Inside of which... Remember when we did this? Cordata? Now we get to Mammalia. Which I have to now do separately. So, hiding between Chordates, Cordata, and Mammalia is, um... One, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 layers. Goodness. You can, you can see why this has been taking a while. Now we go through Mammalia to Theria to Placent. Sa. To. Us. Okay. Oreo. Heh, <laughs> Oreo. Uh, you. Inside of which is you. Again. Inside of which is scan. It's, or sorry, not scan. Primata, primata, primatomorpha. Inside of which is pan primates. So pan? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so... Essentially, they made the... Wait, is this right? Did I make a mistake? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Inside of which are primates. Inside of which... Yes. Okay, here it is. 
Hapalo. Inside of which is Simia? That doesn't sound right. Oh no. We went we've gotten to a weird place. Inside of which is Simi. The Simians. Uh, I think we got to somewhere that doesn't make any sense. Right now, we're trying to get to humans. That's our goal. Um. I think we go through Kata? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, we did it. Amino. Amino. Alright. Now we're good getting it. Finally. Well, not finally. We still have a long way to go. Now we have Hamni, followed by Hami again, followed by Hami again, followed by Hami. Okay, so here's where it gets weird. Hami slash Oz. Those Aussies. Inside of which is Homo, and then depending on how you like it, you can do Homo sapiens or Homo sapiens sapiens. I'm just going to end at sapiens. So now we have to carefully count all the different layers. One, or I guess I could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 33, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of layers. <laughs> goodness, wow. There are 40 layers between vertebrates and humans, which makes sense. There's, there's a lot of complexity. Uh, actually, we can stay at human. And then make our way through here. So I'm just going to speed run through this. Giving as little information as I need to. So. Forty layers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. I lost count. I forgot how many I was supposed to do. So, tap. Oh. I just realized that I did it wrong. Let's redo all that. So here's the thing. I need to copy this portion, right? And then paste the next one here.
like that. And I already lost count. Wait, that's not right. Oh, you know why it's not right? <laughs> okay. So I need to copy this. Yeah, no. Yes. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two. Look at all these curly brackets. I'll do the end brackets last. So I need to do it like that. That. No. Dang it. Oh, that's very confusing. So I need to do everything... Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. You're gonna send me to the bottom every time? If I do that... Okay. There we go, I think. Below the caps lock. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get really annoying. <sighs> Imagine doing this in a Word document, though. That would be annoying. Below the caps. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. I don't like that. That's not cool. Luckily, I only have to do this like 20 more times. And yes... <laughs> this is, in fact, the fastest way to do it. I mean, technically it's not. Except for the part where I would have to reformat all the brackets, except for... Let's try that. Let's copy this into this thing. Duplicate key diverge on line 277. I don't care. Unless... Unless that's a problem. Only... Yeah, I don't care. That's that's totally fine. Look at that. That's nice. Yep, that did it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. And that's formatted the same way I wanted it. Okay. There's this ugly middle ground, but otherwise, yep, that's what I wanted. So basically what I'm going to do now is just input the text here and here. Can't even see that that well. Here, 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 here. I'm not going to include any of the other information. Uh, uh, for the important clades and stuff, I'll include that name. So... 
let's make our way from vertebrate to human. We start off with Gnastostomata. We go, boom, Gnastostomata. Done. Then we go to Eugenathostomata. It is a true Gnathostomata. Does, what does that mean? No idea. It doesn't matter. Um, so here, we have to kind of not go this way. We have to go the other way. This one, right? So we went from Gnath, Eugenath, Telio. What about Utilio? Yes. It's an obsolete clade. Supposedly. Wait, hold on, what? Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's even more, even more confusing. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, I don't like that. So inside of her vertebrate, there's Nathosomata. Taxonomic group of fish. Is this actually it? So, so what this is saying is, this can be compared to that. Oh, okay, so this is a completely different thing. Got it. What trips me up is that this is inside of this, and this isn't real. And Sarko is within you? This is very confusing. No, I like this song, but not now. So, if I understand correctly, which I probably do not, Uteliostomy is inside of Teliostomy. Teleostomy, on the other hand, Teleostomy isn't real, or at least not, not practical. It's obsolete. So, Uteliostomy is not in Teleostomy. Okay, fine, good. Then there's this. Uh, where is it? This, which is also a thing, but to my understanding, it's also polyphyletic? But here they use Tiliosti. Oh no, it's Tiliosti, not Tilioma. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do Uteliostomy as inside Eugenathostomata with the text name. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. So, this is going to be this, and this. It's going to be this. That was annoying to get through. Also, 
let me do this and have the Word doc open right here. Most of it is useless. So let's zoom out. Okay. Moving on. Yukonathos Mata, Utiliostomi. All right. Sarcopterygy. Moving on. Whoops. Rip Rip is idiot. Whatever this is. Good. Moving on to Tilio. Shut up. Tetrapodomorpha. Alright. Inside of... Which is Eo. Eo. Here. I don't know how I found that out. Oh, right, through that other branch. That was confusing. Actually, I can zoom out pretty far. Oh, I can see the whole document at once. Of course, I can't read it, but... more than I thought there was. Elpiostegelia, or something. Then Stegocephalia? Yeah, I saw... Wait. Stigalia. And then I don't know why that happened. Segocephalia, within which there is Tetrapoda. Tetrapod. Ah. Uh, within which there is Reptilomorpha. Within which there's Amniota. Within which there is Synapsida. Within which there is Eusynapsida. Or Eupeliocosoria. Cosoria. Yep. How am I? Oh, uh, I am okay, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing just fine. Um, how are you doing? I know it's been a while. Metamorphia. Metopophora. I really didn't read that. Hello, truly. Um, I came up with this question all by myself. Uh, Tanya didn't help at all. How are you doing? Sphenacomorpha. No space. Sphenacodontia. Look at that guy. Look how happy he looks being... Extinct. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Meadow Svena Codonta? Dontia? And then there's. Oh, I skipped one. No, I didn't skip one. I got both. Panthera. Pantherapsidi. There's no I there. Pantherapsida. This needs to shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you do. You know far more than... 
Yeah, this is the right path, I think. Uh, wait, what? Oh, Pentharapsida first. You're doing good. Well, actually, that's a lie. I'm not doing well. I'm a bit sad. Oh. Well, if you want to talk about it, Tanya and I are here. Um, and if not, that's okay. But I hope you... You feel better. Pentharapsida... Svena... That's not one. I unfortunately know. Hopefully he gets the help he needs and is able to... Sorry, I just... I'm distracted by this... Very confusing evolutionary tree, but um, yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard for the person going, and it's hard for the people having to wait and not be able to. Are are you able to visit? I don't. I know um, with COVID, a lot of places like that they don't allow any visitors at all because it's technically a, a uh, what's it called a health clinic thing so they have to follow all the protocols Back in a year, so at least we'll be back where you left some of the Oh, yeah. Oof. I'm sorry. At least, on the bright side, things can... they can get better.
I am realizing that I did not think this would be so complicated. So what I'm trying to do now is um, track position, I don't know what to call it, place uh, humans in the tree of life, trying to account for every single distinction and there's like 50 layers and yeah. Oh, no, no problem. You are good. I am very much still here. At least I will be for the next few minutes. I will probably have to um, leave soon so that I can sleep, so that I can wake up, so that I can take care of my own mental health. Which, uh, yeah. Like that. Mammalian morph up. Goodness, there is. This is. This is a lot. I am so glad I'm not the person studying this and classifying animals, because this is. Mammalia morpha? Mammalia forma? Or forms? And then finally, Mammalia. Goodness. That is crazy. There's just so many different types of animals. Have to go, mom, going to store. Alright. Well, uh, get good stuff. Don't get the bad stuff, get the good stuff. Later. Eutheria. Oh, jeez. Eutheria, can you believe it? They made a new one? Look how new it is. It's got bones. I don't know. Placentalia. We are getting there. We've made it to placental mammals. And there was much rejoicing. Now we are in Boreo Eutheria. Boreo Borealis, like south? Or northern. <laughs> the opposite of what I just said. What's the other Aurora then? Oh, Australis. Or Australis, or whatever. Okay. Don't want to get too distracted. You are Contogliras. Oh, this includes rats. Ever wondered why scientists study rats? That's why. The rodents, lagomorphs, are those bunnies? What are lagomorphs? Cottontail, yeah, rabbit. Wait, rabbits aren't rodents? Oh, look at that. That's such a cool picture. Look at that. That is an amazing Wikipedia page article. Wikipedia article photo. Huh. Beavers are rodents. Capybaras are rodents. And rodents aren't. Er, and rodents aren't rodents. And rabbits aren't rodents. Interesting. Uh, tree shoes... Tree shrew, tree shrews. I need to learn how to speak. Kalugos. I would have thought these were primates. So, lemurs are primates, but flying lemurs aren't. Wait, it's not a lemur. Oh well, I get uh, that. That yeah, that that pans out. <laughs> Get it? Pan, pan, like the sweet, ch the genus. Never mind. Um, you are contoglears. Glears. Wait, what? There's another you? Oh, because these, we don't care about these. You are conta.
All right, now we're getting to the primatum, primatomorpha. The primate looking stuff. Then pan primates. Th this is... Wait, primatomorpha is in UR con... And then just primates right after that? Yep, okay. So primates. That's what it's called. Primates. Uh, we we need to add more. We need to add a lot of more. A lot of more. Haplorini. It's an interesting name. Okay. So we need to make more of this. Oh no. Oh no. Um, there's... What the heck is this? Oh, that's the tabs? Oh, gosh. Oh. I was wondering why there was a space between each of these. Goodness. That means if I do this, make it really long... I should get all the tabs. Oh, I can only make it so long. Well, that's unfortunate. Hello, this is the beginning. Scroll all the... All the way down. And we're about to bleed over. Even on max width, I won't be able to see everything at once. At that zoom. Well, that's weird. I mean, I'm understandable, but that's a lot of. That's a lot. Uh, right. So between Haplorini and Sapiens, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll add a tenth just in case. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I can do this. Uh-oh. What happened? What went wrong? Wait, what? I don't see what's wrong with this. Help me out, internet. Three hundred twenty-nine. So I'm missing. Where am I missing it? Uh. Wait, didn't I copy that? I have no idea. Format, and copy, and paste. Yep, that looks right. <laughs> this is so... <sighs> Eventually, I'm going to have to include some other kind of phrase that indicates where this lines up, because it, it's going to be really... Oh, wait, that doesn't need to happen, because I can just do... this. Uh... Yeah, right here. Wait, what? Hold on, sanity check time? 
Because I think I may have broken something. Oops. They are... in Cordata. Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? I know why. Let's retry this. What I did wrong is adding these to the end. I need to add them here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to format it. Format. And paste. Now, when I go to Cordata... And I go to Olfactoras, and I minimize it. Uh, when I go to Ganathostomata, and minimize it. Yes, so there's Olfactoras and Cephalocordata. Okay, perfect. We're good. And we're almost done. And I'm almost done. Alright. Haplorini. What does that mean? Simple-nosed. Or dry-nosed. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Simier forms. Followed by what should be Kata and Homino. Katarini. Meaning What does it mean? <laughs> Down nose? Is that what it means? Katarini Homino Hominoidea Homie Homie day, and then there's some more homies. There's homini, hominine, 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 hominine. That's hominine, 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 hominine. I don't know. That that sounds weird to me. And then hominy, hominine. Hominini. Hominini. And then one more homie. Slash. Astralopithecidibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
Hmm. So, if scientists are confused, I should be too, and just not worry. So, we're gonna move on to Homo and Sapiens. Cowabunga. And then I could include Sapiens as a subspecies, but like, I don't think that's really necessary. So all modern humans are blah blah blah. There is this agreement if certain extinct members of the genus, namely Neanderthals, should be included as a separate species of humans or as a subspecies of Homo sapiens. Which would make us Homo sapiens sapiens, but more importantly would make them Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. I don't really care about that. Oops. I don't think I was supposed to show that, but it was just a single... F maybe 30 frames of it. And it's from Wikipedia, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I forgot that was on this page. Um, I also forgot that was on the page. Um, but this is science, so shut up. Yeah, um... Hmm. I guess we just leave it at that. But that's it. Um. Okay, so let me go into full screen mode here so I can edit this properly. So my tentative plan. Okay, that's dumb. Um, can you be less dumb? Uh, I guess this is as less dumb as it gets. So, my tentative plan is to be like, blah, 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 blah. Sapiens diverged however million years ago, and description. But, uh, no, I do kind of need this part species and then um the most important classifications need to be mentioned all of this needs to be mentioned so the homo is the genus and then the next important one is hominini hominini tribe and then hominine, which is the subfamily. This would be the family. Hominoidea. Homin homin Wait. There's a hominine and a hominidae? Oh. What? Why? Also, this is not... Hominini is the tribe. Hominine is the subfamily. Hominidae is the family. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to include infra order, but I will. Infra order. Um, Haplorini is suborder. Uh, class is mammalia. Ooh. Class. Um, and Chordata is Phylum, and I think I already have that all the way up here. Chordata, Phylum. So, as far as humans are concerned, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I will indicate the uh, diversification step. Um, 0.3 million years ago. 
that's a weird way to say 300,000 years ago. So that's what that's the number scientists agree on, 300,000. I thought it would be longer. Huh. Like right there in the it doesn't even mention the geological age because it's right now the neo the uh, quaternary um so this is in millions of years this would be in the chibanian wait pleistocene what is that oh wait what did it what i just have it as quaternary So there's a neo- oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. To 2.5. Oh, these are in millions of years. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. So the neogene doesn't include the quater quaternary. What's the point of Pleistocene? Why why are these different things? That's what I'm a little confused about. These think these things overlap. These these are the same thing. What? Quaternary is the current and most recent of the three episodes of the Cenozoic era in the geologic time scale of the International Commission on Stratigraphy. The Pleistocene, or Pleistocene, uh, often referred to as the Ice Age, is the geological epoch that lasted, oh, from about 2.58 million years ago to 11,700 years ago. Oh. So, it's accurate to say that humanity originated in the Pleistocene. But that's not really relevant. Quaternary is the term that I want to use. So. Late. Late. Or uh, late quaternary? Because these are in millions of years. Late quaternary is its own. So, quaternary has a meaning, and it's not. It does. It doesn't mean any. It doesn't mean any. There are no subdivisions of the quaternary. These things are not subdivisions of the quaternary. They're subdivisions of the Pleistocene. Pleistocene, which is a subdivision kind of of a quaternary. The Holocene, which is barely visible here. is the current geological epoch. Wait, what? That's that that is even more confusing. What? Began blah blah blah. Oh, okay. So the Holocene is and Pleistocene form okay. So they're not synonyms. Blah blah blah. Just humans writing about themselves. Yeah, I, that doesn't really matter. Um, okay. I think I understand everything now, but I can't really be sure. Oh, um, okay, never mind.
I fix it. Anyway, so in conclusion, shut up. Us. So diverged 30 million, 30, 300,000 years ago in the, I could say Holocene, but I'm going to say Quaternary. Quaternary. And description. The human mind is capable of introspection, private thought, imagination, volition, and forming views on existence. Okay. If you say so. Um, what makes us distinct, though? Uh, big brain... Probably evolution. Um, so what do we say is a human? Generally speaking. I'm interested what their definition is. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's not interesting. What is the taxonomy of human beings? Yeah, that's not what I was wondering about. I was more wondering about, like, and definition. Oh. There is a disagreement if certain extinct members of the genus should be included. Um, despite the fact that the word animal is colloquially used, and contrary to common biological misconception, humans are animals. The t word person is often used interchangeably. The philosophical debate exists as to whether personhood applies to all humans or all sentient beings, and further, if one can lose personhood, such as by going into a persistent vegetated state. Don't care. Human taxonomy. Man, being able to read is so useful. Paranthropus. What is par pan- Wait, there's paranthropus? Pan I thought it was pan-anthropus. I wonder if I, s if I misread something or if there was a typo. Yeah, pananthropus is just pan- or sorry, para- Anthropus, paranthropus, is alongside human. But the validity is contested because it could be Australopithecus. I don't know, man. They look pretty different. One's got a ridge on the, the head. <clears throat> Oh gosh, that's a, that's a rough skull. Oh. Wait. I know we're kind of going off topic and I need to go to sleep, but I couldn't help but think about how shallow this area of the bone of the skull is. Like, there's this arch, right? Your cheekbone. And then there's this part, the, the temple, and how it kind of goes down into But look at that. How big it is and how small the cranium is. That 
and it's got a little, little ridge, ridge on the head. Cool. Uh, so... Homo habilis. So this is all Homo, then. What about Australopithecus? Pithecus? Is there an E there? Yeah, there is an E there. I can remember things. So this is its own genus, Australopithecus. In Australopithecina, which we are not in. Oh no, which we are in, because it's synonymous with hominina. 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 Um, antecessor, pecking man, java man, and floresiensis. Floresiensis. I want to take a look at that. Yeah. I don't know how to spell it. Floresiensis. That's a, an interesting angle. <laughs> That's very close to the camera. Here we go. Some more. So this has a higher brow. Different, uh, I forget what this is called, merging the skull bones. A bit wider of a nasal cavity. And teeth that stick out a little more. That's, that's basically it. And then I'm sure that the skull size is a little different as well, but... Nicknamed Hobbit. Oh, is this, is this a small person? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to grasp all this information here. So they were like, "Hey, this is the this is a, a sample known as the Hobbit," and then when a scientist was going to give a public le lecture, the Tolkien estate was like, "You can't use the word Hobbit." And then again, they stopped uh, a documentary or a movie. A movie about 
the species, but the but the film was blocked because of the the title. And it was later retitled Clash of the Empires. Um, was it bad or was it good? It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's no one... <laughs> I guess no one has watched it. Okay. Anyway. So, in conclusion, this interesting species had small brain and didn't really do much. That we know of. So, at some point, Heidelbergensis, possibly gave rise to three different species, or subspecies, if you want to consider that, consider it that, uh, that way. Neanderthals and Denisovans re-bred, bred again with the sapiens subspecies, or species, and now we are a blend. Some of us have more of one, some of us have more of another. So, yeah, what makes us us, though? is the big question here. I'm, I'm not going to do this for every single genus, you know, family, order, that sort of thing. Just, uh... Just sapiens. Also, Pro-Magnon. What was that? Pro Magnon. Wait, we don't? Oh! Anatomically modern human is the new name for Cro Magnon. Okay, so they, they were human. So, Cro-Magnon doesn't refer to a t particular taxonomy or even a particular group located in a particular place. It was simply not precise enough, and so they went with the AMH or EMH, what is early modern human. So anatomically or early modern human. Okay. Got it. So they were basically the first humans. Or, possibly. Because it's hard to know for certain. Uh, and then Australopithecus is definitely pre- or proto-human. Categorizing humans based on phenotypes is a socially controversial subject. Hmm, I wonder why. Biologists originally classified races as subspecies, but contemporary anthropologists reject the concept of race as a useful tool to understanding humanity and instead view humanity as a complex, interrelated genetic continuum. That's an interesting term. The taxonomy of the hominins continues to evolve. As literally everything else. This sentence... If you don't understand evolution, this sentence makes sense. If you do understand evolution, this sentence doesn't say anything. It's like, hey, things are currently changing. You, you can put the sentence in literally any animal, plant, bacterium, virus, you name it, and just change hominins to the title of the Wikipedia article. Taxonomy of the virus, coronavirus family continues to evolve. Which, side note, is that a, a, a family? Like, is it a strain? What is it called? Oh. Oh, that's right. They're called realms. Instead of uh, kingdoms. Er, instead of... Wait, what? Realm. Why 
are they called realms? Oh, it corresponds to the domain. Okay. But it differs in that viruses in a realm do not necessarily share a common ancestor based on common descent. Oh. Okay. And then a domain. So domain is a more direct lineage, and a realm is just kind of... Okay. So coronavirus... is a subfamily. And then you have alpha coronavirus, beta coronavirus, gamma coronavirus, and delta coronavirus. Which are... COVID. It's beta, isn't it? It's beta. Mm, yes. SARS-CoV-2 is a lineage B alpha coronavirus. Or sorry, beta coronavirus. Cool. You don't like cold. Well... Too bad. Do you have... Or, yeah, you do. You... You have learned how to cope. I am not, like... I've been at home, basically, this whole time. Um, and every time I go out, and, like... Hold on. I'm not sure... Just checking something real quick. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so the current temperature is 53 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gotten down to like 40 or something. And... I'm not used to it. I have not been out in the cold recently. Or, yes. So, I, I was used to the, the the Washington weather, and now I'm used to the North Carolina warm. I had my, I had the house to myself uh, the last, basically, month. Um, and I was cold and didn't change the thermostat at all. I guess just out of habit. Ooh. Oh, this is... Ooh. Okay, so... Okay, that's not interesting. This is interesting because... Hmm. Wait, antecessor was... Oh, yeah, 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 duh. Duh. No, that's not duh. That's actually not duh. That's... That is a genuine question. Nality? Who are you? You weirdo. Who are you? Imagine having this many bones. <laughs> Why? Um... Discovered in 2013. That's pretty recent. Who are you? What? Okay. Oh. Interesting. So, so this species of hominid climbed and swung through trees. Interesting. That's not interesting. I mean, I guess it's interesting if you like maps, but... So this is like the small-brained dude. Um... Relatively high and thin skull. I don't see it.
Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. This was laminated maroon mudstone? And so was this? Oh, that changes things. Oh, this is big news. Um, why is it big news? I have no idea. Wait. There was more than one skull found? Oh. Huh. So whoever these guys were, they buried their dead. Ooh. And there's a bunch of picks. Okay. So, Nalady um, is a pretty distant relative in the Homo genus. But they were surprisingly human. Um, I just wish there was more... Okay, subspecies. <laughs> the recognition or non-recognition of subspecies of Homo sapiens has a complicated history. Hmm... That's weird. Um, a convenience and not objective criteria. Um... Okay, so this is interesting. A subspecies cannot be recognized independently. A species will either be recognized as having no subspecies at all, or at least two, including any that are extinct. Therefore, the designation of an extant subspecies only makes sense if at least one other subspecies is recognized. Um, yeah, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Dubious. Monstrous and troglodytus? Goodness, uh, what's troglodyte, by the way? Or tr trilo... Is this what I was thinking of? Trilobite? Huh. Back for not, but not for long. Same. I mean, I'm, I'm not back per se, but I'm not here for very long. Um, we are currently just trying to figure out how to define human beings. Um, what do you mean I should be tired? I just have to get up in seven hours. You're tired. Uh, but, well, I mean, I guess you are tired. You you admitted it. <laughs> um. What? Oh. Okay, so, mm, I'm not even going to get into it, but basically, this, this is yikes. This, this is yikes. Um, but this is not yikes. This is an actual genuine question. There have been many, or there have been taxonomic wars over whether Neanderthals were a separate species since their discovery. Um, in 2014, they framed a debate that is unresolvable in principle, since there is no definition of species perfectly describing the case. Go to bed. I will. I, I am just curious. I am seeking knowledge, and I will either find it, or I guess not, because these are basically saying, like, uh, you are looking for the answer to a question that's stupid, and you should feel dumb. There are a number of proposals of extinct varieties. Many of original proposals were not. Wait, so... Wait, Cro-Magnon is a place? Is that why it's called that? 
Arbri de Cro-Magnon. Why is it called that? Why is what? Why? Who named this? Why is why is there a hyphen? I didn't know French had hyphens. Bam. Cro-Magnon from Cro-Magnon from Cro-Magnon from Abri de Cro-Magnon. Cro-Magnon from Cro-Magnon. Okay, Magnon. What is that? From Magnon. Magnon. So, the definition of Cro-Magnon is Cro-Magnon. That's it. That's, that's the, that's it. That's, that's it. That's the whole thing. The, the reason it's called that is because it's called that. Oh! Francization, Francization, uh, equivalent to Crow and Magnon. The name Manon derives from Manon from Latin Magnus. And Magnus means big. And Crow means hollow. Big hollow. That makes sense. Um, I'm not looking for Homo Halos, I'm hoping. Looking for Homo sapiens. And guess what Homo magnon is? What? Guess what Cro magnon is? That's yeah. right, Homo sapiens. You thought it was something different, didn't you? They all thought that, and then they're like, hey, wait a minute, isn't this the same thing? Yes. So, in conclusion, Cro magnon is Cro magnon because it's Cro magnon. Hold on. Look, I, I know I know I said I'd just be doing one thing, but here's the thing. The thing is that here's the thing. Shut up. Magnon. Uh, I'm, I'm copying this. Uh, actually, no, I'm doing this. Uh, sh shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Um, we're going here, and then we're going Magnon. Edit. Uh, uh, a surname. Here. Equivalent to the name. Address from Magnon from Magnus. Uh. What? This is this is I'm not used to Wiktionary so. Okay, here we go. Francization of the Occitan... I don't know how to say that word. Comma, from... From Magnus. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if this is the right syntax or whatever the heck, but, uh, boom. Ta-da! I've now defined a word. Okay, bye. Um, but They're both home money day. Double easy. Well, guess what? I was guessing you'll get so deep you were going to start searching into other primates, so I did it for you. Easy. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they're all homo sapiens. But what is homo sapiens? That's the question. Wait, what is that? Dude. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah. It says it right here. Rules card. Uh, Homo sapiens need to... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what's the point? What's the point? In 1980s, people stopped doing that. Okay. An early authority source.
Ага. 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 But even in this case, there is a dissenting view arguing that those skulls may not be distinct enough to warrant a new subspecies name. Okay. But the 2010's discovery of genetic evidence of archaic human admixture with modern humans has reopened the details of the taxonomy of archaic humans. So. They're like, hey, look at these things. They're not humans. Okay. Hey, look at these things. They're basically humans, but different. We should call them a subspecies. Okay. Hey, um, let's stop doing this. Okay. Hey, actually... Make up your minds. I know it's like partially a philosophical debate and heavily influenced by the nuances of human culture and religion. But figure it out. They're humans. Triple easy. But what is humans? That's the question. So, I don't know if you're familiar with the stupidity that is what is a woman. That aside, I think it would be funny if I made a YouTube video called What is a Fish? Because as I mentioned earlier, you have fish and you have fish. You've got sharks and you've got tuna. The closest and the the youngest what the what's it called common the common and the youngest common ancestor what what's the term the the common ancestor whatever the common ancestor of tuna and sharks is also the common ancestor of bees and cows. So, what is a fish if you need to use, if you're considering it phylogenetically? Fish are bees. What? Bees are fish. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what they did? They did it. Wait, what? Yes. A California court ruled bees are fish. That's weird, but what's funny is it's true, kind of. Monophy my, monophylogenetically, bees are fish. But it's not useful to consider them fish, because we'd also have to call humans fish, and that doesn't make any sense at all. So, there's a nuance. And there's this, this interesting debate about how we define things and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So then we move on to the less stupid question of, what was the question? What are humans? Because, like, yeah, uh, this guy, may or may not be a human, and that's weird. We should have the answer to this question, because we know what a bee is. What's a bee? Uh, I don't want a Britannic, I want a Wikipedia. There are winged insects closely related to wasps and ants. Okay, but more specifically, they are a lineage within the superfamily Apoidea. Uh, but they have six legs. Um, but distinct from other insects, they have other features that, you know, they figured out. Uh, wait, what? I thought that said sweat bees. That does say sweat bees. What? Why are they called sweat bees? They are often tracked to perspiration. That's kind of weird. You're weird. Anyway, bees are bees because, uh, that reason. Humans. What are they? What is a human? What is you? You. Oh, you. So, I want to write down in this little description box what human is. So, I'm not finding the answer. Instead, it's saying, oh, well, you know, these other things uh, that, uh, that, we, that are definitely not us kind of humans, uh, they're humans. Kind of. They're, and they're saying stuff like, oh, you know, um, the, the, the Homo sapiens sapiens, the subspecies, is the only one that's alive. And uh, these other things, they are uh, also Homo sapiens. 
Good night. But also, we don't actually know. So... I don't think there's an answer. I How long have I been live for? Oh no no, it's it that's fine. You know what's not fine? I <laughs> don't look at you. No, the the problem is I spent three and a half hours doing this and the work that I just did is right here. So good night. And and it even it even says when when they diverged. And they even include the the genuses that wait, what is SL? Oh, I see. They predate us and may have even begat us. But, okay. So I don't really need to worry about that. And look, look at all these links. They're purple. Except for these. Oh, which I did earlier. That's why they're, they're not purple. I'd have to go all the way to the top to see that. So here we can see Eukaryota. Um, Biconta. Oh, they don't include... Oh, no, Biconta is a separate thing. Let me actually, uh... Let me put this here. Okay, and then true fungi. Oh, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, I see. I see what I did wrong. I meant... This. What? What? All of my coda does not contain that. Therefore, it is a sister group. So therefore, uh, that's right, but it doesn't look right. Why doesn't it look right? What happened? What? This is the end of Osipadadadadeh. This is this. That's that. This ends here. So... This ends there. There we go. Yes. Okay. Got it. Wow. 
why did I do it like this? Uh, <laughs> uh here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I went one above, so it's this one. Copy it, and... Dang it, I messed it up. I love this. I love this so much. What did I do wrong? 252? Oh, gosh. What that that purses? I don't I don't get it. Oh. Huh. You no know it doesn't parse? Me not putting a comma. There we go. Okay. So now the first thing that shows up is the lineage for human beings. That's the first thing on this list. And then after that is everything else. That's that's what I spent this whole time doing. Except for the part where I need to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. So, life. We have Podiatra, Podiata, Amorphia, Amoebazoa. Uh, I'm just going to remove that. I make a note to myself to include Amoeba. So that is done and done. Um, Moeba. Resume the music. Something more relaxing. Sure. Obazoa. Obazoa. Opisthokont. I don't know why it's called that. Holozoa. Philozoa. Chowanozoa. Animalia. Yumetazoa. Oh, I didn't have description thingies for all this. That's easy enough. Yes, I do want to do this now. Thank you very much. This is going after the colon. And it doesn't need this. Here. Okay, I think I got it. No, I should, um... the space. No. I'll do it after the colon. Yes. This should parse. Yes, it does. 
format it, copy it, and paste. There we go. And then I fill this in with all this stuff. Okay. So, but I don't need to fill it in with anything. I just need to check that, it, that I didn't miss anything. We met a Zoa. I met a what? Parahoxosa with a capital letter. Bilateria. Nephrosa. Deuterostomia. Chordata. Olfactoris. Vertebrata. Wherever it is. Here. Gnathostomata. Teleostom... <laughs> you forgot one. <laughs> Good luck. E -e -e. You forgot. Uh, you teleostomy, because teleostomy isn't a thing. Sarcopterygi, or pterygii. Um, they didn't include ripidistidia. Ripidistia. Ripidistia. I was so cold, I decided I should get an ice cream. That makes sense, joining your club. <laughs> yup. Internal nostrils? What? What is this? They allow breathing when the mouth is closed. With secondary pellets. Do we have secondary pellets? I have no idea. I mean, I guess if we have Chuanae, then we have secondary pellets. When pet drops out, their function relates primarily to olfaction. Center top. I really don't know what this is. I'm just gonna pretend I know what's going on. I don't know, the music here is sounding a little weird. Also known as Dipnotetrapodomorpha. Okay, wait. However, a clinistic understanding of the vertices improved over the last few decades. A monophyletic rapidicidia is now understood to include the whole of tetrapoda and the lungfishes. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense because these guys have lungs and they're fish. Lungfish. Cool. So, then tetrapoda morph. I have more stuff going on here. Tetrapodomorpha. You tetrapod... You tetrapodom... You tetrapodiforms, or podiforms. Elpistotegaliadabu. Stegocephalia. And tetrapoda. I have a... Hold on, I want to try something. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm going to take a call right now.
found out how to pause properly this time. Um, and that's it. I have now successfully classified human species in the tree of life. That only took four hours. Yikes. Um, I will do a couple other... I almost said gatekeeping. Uh, what's the right word? When you keep things that aren't gates. Upkeep? Housekeeping? Housekeeping. That's what it is. So, just gonna like... Uh, go down here. Okay, so... Okay, so what I want to do is take this, really, four hours for humans only? I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, only four hours. I, I went through all of 3.7 billion years, and it only took four hours. It's pretty good. Uh, obviously, working on the backs of the... People who spent years of their lives committed to this. So, you know, good, good shoulders to stand on. Uh, a lot of progress that I didn't have to make myself. And then my hope... So here's the thing. I don't know how people do it, but there's like... I wonder if there's a web page. It's not on the first. Oh, it's here. I think this is it. So, like, Los Sapiens. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, ew. Oh. Okay. So this isn't exactly what I wanted. Is this it? Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, this is pretty much exactly what I w was thinking of. Like, I, I didn't think of doing it in a spiral like this. This is... That's a really cool way of doing it. Okay, I don't, I don't care. Whatever that is, I don't really care. Interesting. Using, um... What is this? What, are, what is... Okay. Quinoa? Why would that be there? Anyway. Um... Using... What are these? What are these called? Fractals. Using fractals to organize things. That's a, that's an insight that I would never have had. Eukaryotes. Wait, what? What? These are... What are these? What is this? What is this thing? No, 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 no. What is this? What am I looking at here? Eukaryotes and uh huh. I guess it just doesn't say the name, unless it's like this, like today's eukaryotes. Yeah, Codiata, Amorphia, Ubizoa. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't say the title, but yeah, this is basically what I'm talking about. This is the end results that I'm shooting for. Something like this. Obviously, I'm not going to have this wealth of knowledge. What is this? Two of those stones. This leaf has been sponsored. Text awaiting confirmation. Huh, I wonder what it means to sponsor something. I'll have to look into this. But basically, stuff like this. Right? And the information for this sort of thing has to be stored somehow. So I'm thinking, JSON. Or, you know, formatted in, in a similar programming language where, or a script for a language, 
where the information is stored, you know, linearly, but also nested in brackets. Because right now, this is this seems pointless, right? But the benefit of this is I can say, hey, next to placentalia, right, I can uh, put something else here, like... Uh, Formatting here is a little annoying to work with, um, but basically, basically this. So uh, I put a I put a comma before this, and I'd say uh, non non placenta, you know, and I'd say it diverges here. And then I always have to put commas. And then uh, description, you know, etc. And the idea is that this is a format. Wait, what? So, so yeah, this is a format with which you can implement this into something like this. I, I, because of the way my mouse works, this feels a little, eh, you know, like, th th this feels a little off. Uh, I'm sure if I fixed my mouse, my scroll wheel, um, then it would look, th then it would be less stupid. But also, you have to wonder, like, what takes preference here? What, what is, what's in here? What's so special about this? You know what I mean? And as it turns out, what's so special about this spiral? <laughs> this goes so deep. What is this that it's so, so deeply nested? Like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like, what what is this? What is so special about this? It's this. This thing that doesn't even have a common name. Like, should this, should this be the center of a spiral? It just keeps going. It keeps going, and it keeps going, and it keeps going, right? Like, what we choose to be at the very bottom, as opposed to what are these side chains, is in part due to, you know, how diverse that particular group is, and also nothing. It doesn't depend on anything. Right? Like, the center of this massive spiral is some random insect that most people have never heard of. Right. This isn't. This is interesting, and it's a great way to to analyze um, how things are related. But you know, it's really easy to get lost. There's a lot of white space. I have no idea where I am. Current location. Like, I don't know. Like the the it's it's not perfect and there's there's always some there's always a way to improve something i'm not saying this is a bad tool but it has some things that it's good for and something that it's not good for and making the information as accessible as this aims to be um hopefully will make it easier and again most of this is just i'm interested in it right if i didn't have an interest in it i wouldn't be doing it um so I need to if I do this well just delete it.
No, it won't remove it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So that's important. Um, and then I need... I guess I could do it that way. That is the easier way to do things, generally. Um... So yeah, I'll do that. Uh... So like, I... Ideally, yes, I would do it like that, but the problem is that And also the, oh, you know what, I, I know how to fix this. There. This should work. Boom. Yeah, that works. Although, when I format it... Okay, it keeps its white space. Nice. But when I do this, there's an error. Also, because that's broken. I totally broke this. Yeah, when I do that, it disappears, which is not good. So, hollow my coda. Fungi. And then we do the same thing for this. And then the super group. Yeah, I'll do the super group as well. Oh, I see what happened. I did one too far. Yeah. That looks pretty. Okay, so now just double check that everything parses properly. Format. And error. Wait, what? Wait, you don't like... You don't like this anymore?
Oh, were you expecting this? No? What are you asking for? I don't know. It, it liked it before, and now it doesn't like it. If I do something simple... Like putting it- like putting it in the beginning. It shows up as an error still. Oh well. That's fine. It's a problem for future me to deal with. Um... Yeah, so that's set up. And... This is not set up because it's the bottom. I could probably just keep it null. Instead of defining it as zero. Uh, but I like the fact that it ends in zero. I like zero. It's a nice number. It's full of absolutely nothing. Anyway, it's almost two in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to wake up. Probably tired. Um. Yeah, that's all for now. I mean, what do you think, Tanya? Should I stream this next time? But instead of going through an entire specific organism just doing branches like hey i like frogs so let's go to reptilomorpha or whatever it is mm. reptiliomorpha still play minecraft just for fun i haven't played minecraft in a long time um probably since i stream whatever you, whatever you want just do it more often yeah, I'll try. I'm still working on the song. Uh, it's, what, three days ago now? Yeah, three days ago was harsh. It was hard. But. You yeah, know. And then there's the issue of me possibly making a spelling error. Don't want to get into that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wow. That's the max I can zoom out. Maybe it's dependent on the length of this, this thing, but... That's... <laughs> wow. This is going to look really interesting when I'm done. And then, of course, there's... Hopefully going to be someone smarter than me to actually make use of this data, but. Or an AI or something to, like, scan the Wikipedias for all this info. This, the, 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 this, this can be really cool. I don't know if it's going to end up cool, but that's the hope. Um, oh, Discord. I should make my Discord. That is something I need to do. There's so many things I need to do, but that's one of them. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Um, so thank you, Tanya, for being here as always. And I will see you later. I also forgot to include in the intro the phrase dark stream. So I guess that ends the dark stream. Have a good night. That sentence felt awfully abrupt. Good night.
I did not think.